All right, this is grade one, module one, lesson four. And in this lesson, we're going to be taking some put together situations and we're going to re represent those with number bonds. And we're going to help the kids kind of make efficient how they count and get the final answer, how to, how to identify what the whole number is when we're given, when they're given the parts. And, um, and then they're going to be writing those addition expressions then. So let's get going in, on this. So suppose we have four boys and we have right here four boys and we have three girls. Boy, none of these pictures are really good. I'm so sorry about that. So anyway, we've got four boys. We've got three girls. Now what we want students to be doing is we want them to do the count on thing where they begin with either one of these sets. So let's start with this part right here. So four boys. And the idea is they're going to use their fist and they're going to kind of like punch the air and say four. And then they're going to use their fingers and they're going to count one, two, three. But they're not going to say one, two, three. They're going to use that fist and they're going to punch four. And then they're going to say five, six, seven. So that's how they're going to do it. That's what we're talking about. So the number bond would look like this. So we've got the whole, and then we've got a part, and then we've got the part. So it would say four and three. So that represents the boys and the girls. And then the that fist, we're punching the air, and we're going to say four, five, six, seven. And so our final answer, or our whole, is seven. So that's going to look like this. It's going to say four and then five, six, seven. So the answer is seven. So what would the addition expressions look like? Well, the addition expressions uh, might look like this. There's going to be four of them. So you could say four plus three equals seven, or you could say three plus 4 equals 7, or you can kind of reverse it a little bit and put the 7 on the left side, and you could say 7 equals 4 plus 3, or 7 equals 3 plus 4. So parents and teachers, we want our students to be comfortable with the answer being on the right side of the equation or on the left side of that equal sign. So on this example, we can see we have some shoes with laces up here, and we have a shoe without a lace right here. So let's count the shoes that have laces, and we can see we have one, two, three, four, five. And then we have one shoe without a lace. So our number bond, I, I always write them vertically, but you don't have to write them vertically. You can do them horizontally if you want. So we have five shoes with laces, and we have one shoe without a lace. And then, of course, we're going to punch the air with, in this case, let's do five. So we're going to punch the air with five, and then we'll say, and we'll count on one more, which is six. So our whole number is six. So what we're going to do is we're going to punch the air on five and then count six. And so the answer is six. So if we were going to write that as the expressions, uh, addition expressions, one could be like this. Five plus one equals six. And another one we could write is one plus five equals six. Now if we really want to get fancy, we could even say... Uh, let's see, 6 is equal to 5 plus 1, and 6 is equal to 1 plus 5. So there's a bunch of addition expressions that would work. One last example. We have ourselves three basketballs right here, three soccer balls right here. So we, it doesn't matter which set we start with, whether we start with the basketballs or the soccer balls, because they both have three. So we're going to punch the air and say three, and then we're going to count four, five, six. So our answer is six. So what is that number bond going to look like? 
that number bond is going to look like three basketballs, three soccer balls. The whole number is six. And so our addition expressions are going to be a little bit fewer of them. Three plus three equals six. And six is equal to three plus three. And that is all we got for addition expressions there. And that wraps up Grade 1, Module 1, Lesson 4, where we were evaluating put-together situations and using that punching the fist uh, into the air and then counting on. And uh, we were uh, using number bonds and we were writing expressions. This was a busy, busy lesson.